Hey guys, in Apple's new One More Thing event, they released three new Macs, the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and the Mac Mini, all featuring the M1 chip, their newest or their only actually Apple Silicon chip. I've already made videos talking about the MacBook Pro and Air, so if you want to check them out, please go ahead. But this video we will only be talking about the Mac Mini. So the Mac Mini with the new M1 chip is up to three times faster. We will only be talking about the Mac Mini. In my opinion, before we get started, I think this is a great deal. If you're looking for a desktop computer, this is the one to go. Anyway, let's get started. So the new Mac Mini, it only comes in silver, unfortunately, but that's not a big problem. It's up to three times faster in CPU performance and up to six times faster in GPU performance than compared to the older MacBook Mini. It's also 15 times faster in machine learning. This is crazy. Imagine something being 15 times faster than a model that just came out last year or two years ago. So the Mac Mini is perfect for anyone who have to work or even play video games. I know Macs aren't designed for video games, but this has amazing graphics. So Minecraft, it'll get the work done. This is beyond powerful in my opinion. If you think you want a new Mac, it's a pretty good deal. The CPU has eight cores, allowing it to be basically the most powerful CPU you can get in a Mac right now. And the GPU has eight cores as well, allowing it to bring again, up to six times faster graphics performance. Graphics is very important if you edit videos, edit photos, or even code, make video games. With Apple Silicon graphics, this is gonna blow everything out of the water. And finally, with Neural Engine, you get 16 cores, which is basically the brains of every operation. This is machine learning, and machine learning is very important, especially now. So 15 times faster in machine learning is amazing. For most things though, you might not notice this power, but it really kicks in when it's needed and you can really feel the power. And because that this Apple Silicon M1 chip is in fact Apple Silicon, it can allow macOS to natively run iOS and iPadOS apps such as Among Us. If you go to the buy page on Apple's website, you can actually see that for only $699, so $700, that's the starting price. You get eight gigabytes of RAM, which isn't that much, but remember, this is Apple Silicon. Apple's chips always use RAM so sparingly. So like eight gigabytes of RAM on macOS basically runs like 12 or even 16 gigs on Windows. It also features eight core GPU, eight core CPU, and 16 cores neural engine, and gigabit ethernet. So all of this for only $700, this is a steal. If you're looking for a desktop Mac, get this one. Like I cannot endorse any other ones. And finally, if you want to upgrade for another $200, you get 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. And Apple SSD are always the fastest type. And finally, you can, in fact, spend an extra $200 to upgrade. Please don't. Listen to me. Please do not upgrade to the Space Gray version since that's actually the model from last year. So for $1,100, you get a six core eighth gen Intel i5 processor with Intel UHD graphics and turbo boosts up to 4.1 gigahertz. This is horrible. Please do not upgrade to the $1,100 model because that's actually last year's model, which is slower than the Apple Silicon M1 chip. Please just get the two base models and you will thank yourself. If you select the base model, you can in fact upgrade the RAM for an extra $200. You get 16 gigabytes of RAM and you can upgrade up to two terabytes of SSD storage for an extra $800. The new Mac mini with M1 chip also features Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4, which are actually the same ports. So that allows you to connect up to 6K monitors to it. And Thunderbolt 3 or USB 4 is absurdly fast. Basically data transfer speeds are not a problem here. Anyway, that's my take on it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out my video concerning the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air, please check them out. Click on one of these videos right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.